Thanks for purchasing your new extended life iPod battery from FastMac. First, lay out the battery and the tools provided. Then, make sure your iPod is turned off. Flip the hold switch until the orange indicator strip is visible. With the iPod in your hand, gently press down and to the left on the right edge of the top case, both thumbs, while moving the bottom case to the right with your fingers, as shown. This will create a small gap between the top and bottom case, allowing you to insert the pry tool. Slowly work the pry tool around the entire iPod, except for where the hold switch resides. You will feel the tabs holding the metal bottom case release. Lay the iPod on its face, then carefully remove the bottom casing and lay it over to one side. Be very careful. The hold switch and headphone board ribbon is still attached. Turn the iPod around so this ribbon connector is to the lower right. Carefully lift up the hard drive by the right hand side and slowly work it free from the connector cable. Set the drive to the side. Lift up the hard drive's interconnect cable pad. Carefully insert your thumbnail between the cable and the logic board and lift up. Disconnect the interconnect cable pad and set it aside. Turn the iPod back around. Lift up on the right side of the battery and guide the battery cable out from under the logic board. Use the thumb of your left hand to hold down the logic board while carefully disconnecting the battery. Take your new True Power battery out of its clear plastic packaging. Do not remove the gold wrapping. This is not packaging material. Insert the new battery while guiding the connector cable under the logic board. Do not plug in the battery just yet. Turn the iPod back around. Reinsert the drive's interconnect cable pad, taking care to plug it in firmly. Reattach the hard drive as shown, with the label facing down. Carefully plug in the battery cable and route the excess behind the white tab of the top case. Close the bottom case while lining up the hold switch on the logic board with the hold switch on the bottom case. Failure to do so could damage the logic board, so be careful. Press firmly on each edge, not in the middle, to close the iPod. Flip the hold switch and start your iPod. That's it. You're done.